The fields are full of stunted boars and twice as many sheep. All of them with vacant smiles, grazing like there's nothing wrong. The stars look like they're cut out of the sky when I lay down to sleep. Tired from the senseless trials that we take to prove we're strong, we're not at risk of endangerment. But I sense a lot of thrilling intent, thrilling intent, thrilling intent. the bar, chased out by a cloud of sawdust. <coughs> God. Yeah, that's what, what you, you get. Oh, I'm wearing just so a tempted mask. like a single spark and it would just be an incredible cloud no, of flame. No, Marcus, we don't just spent all of our money on this. My lungs would go up in flame too. I just don't see why you want to repair all the holes. Because they're holes. When it rains, rain gets in and I mean, right, frankly, but they all serve a purpose. How? What? Like Letting the smelting the hole. Away. Like what well, hole? You mean the hole. doorway? The smelting hole. It, it's for smelting things. No, no, no. We talked about this. You don't... You and Kier do not get a smelting hole. I'm not going to have you burning hazardous waste under our house. Wait, then what about the trash compactor? Yeah. What about the trash compactor? There's a trash compactor? Speaking of which, I'm gonna need some extra gold to remove the trash compactor. Uh. I will gladly make Marcus and Kier pay for that. Okay, guys, you heard her. Yes, you know that we used the last of our money on that trash compactor. You better not have touched my money. <laughs> touch. C of course. Physically. Didn't touch it no. even a little What's bit. What's this about a trash compactor? We have a trash compactor now? Oh, right, I designed it. No, sure Kier, did. we're getting the trash compactor removed. Getting it removed? Yes. You can't just remove a trash compactor. That's what the trash compactor's for. How are you gonna fit the trash compactor inside the trash compactor, Ash? Huh? Huh? He starts poking you. I push him back. Good question, Ash. I attempt to anyway. <laughs> so here, we never touched Ash's money, right? Uh, there were magnets involved, money. Right? Uh, yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah. So you may not have physically touched the money, but nope. you spent it. You used it. It's gone. We're technically now, correct, right? which is the best sort of correct. And with that... <laughs> and it's not technically gone, either. <laughs> Just somebody else has it. <laughs> that someone is Thog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so, um... This is gonna take a while. I'd prefer you keep the, uh, keep the problems away from the bar while I... Keep the children away from the... fix the problems yeah, yeah, yeah. inside yeah. the bar. Uh, also, sure. Thog... Here, come with I us. I kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? I pulled somewhere else. <laughs> I pulled the gun out of my pack. Dog, I don't know if I want to like hold on to this. Can you just like keep it for? Yeah, I'll hold on to that. For no. Me. Okay. I put it back into my pack. No, you're not. No. Rude. I've always been interested in how other cultures use, you know, explodey stuff. Yeah. Maybe you could give me a look at d it. D no, Kier, you're the first person I want to keep away from this. <laughs> oh, but definitely the first person who's Marcus. gonna get a look at it, right? Uh, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I hand Kier just a block of wood that looks like the sh oh, wow. looks like the gun. <laughs> Here you go. Why do you have that? Look at that. <laughs> because of that, I point to Marcus and Kier Marcus marbling over it. <laughs> that'll buy me. Hmm. That'll buy me at least at least Inadvertently a day. Shoots an eye beam through it. <laughs> Kier, Kier dismissively drops it on the ground. Other cultures are so primitive. So primitive. <laughs> I'm centuries ahead. Kier, tr Kier travels I... past his boots making tiny exploding noises. <laughs> I smile smugly at Gregor. I told you it'd work. There goes the genius of our generation. Uh, distractedly, on this warm summer afternoon, you wander... Uh, to the Isle of Talthir, the Velvet District. Oh, oh right, the... Hmm. Ah yes, where the streets are paved with velvet. Uh, I figured that's that was where the brothel was, wasn't it? What? The what? The, the brothel? No, no, it's mostly a textile district, if I recall correctly. Here, this is where that one brothel was, right? Brothel? Hmm. The place with the one bed in it? The one bed. Oh, yeah, right. The, uh. Ooh. Oh, the house yeah. of negotiable yeah. affection? I don't know. The smell bad hut is what I always called it, but brothel <laughs> sounds better. Yeah, you're right. 
Shakespeare yeah. stops in his tracks. Uh, wait, what? What are those? Two creatures shift past, squeaking loudly. What? Ooh, they've readied me a chair. <laughs> Marcus sprints up into the chair. Uh, as Marcus dons the chair, the creatures let out a screech, a horrible, horrible deep wail, like a horse that had just uh, been stabbed. Oh, Gross. what? Arr, they take oh, off. Oh, shit, wait! Marcus! Marcus. <laughs> Help! Stop making yourself get kidnapped. Why are they so fast? How <laughs> even? He doesn't weigh much. These servants have some verve. Uh, two trips, two trips into Gregor, borne by his exploding boots. Uh, where did he go? I haven't worked turning out yet. I looked down this path. I looked down this path and then this path. Which way did they go? Is there a trail hmm. of imp? Look for the spread look for the sparkles hanging in the air. <laughs> oh wow! How could we even miss those? <laughs> I look, Eric starts to follow them. I look for the sparkles. <laughs> Wait, so, Kier, were those... Were those new spirits? spirits? New spirits? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't think a spirit would just come in and steal somebody's armchair. Uh, hey, Marcus! Hey! I run up and pick up the... thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no! Why? in your face. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> slow oh. down. They are good at heart, and I think they speak some sort of dialect of impish. <laughs> Arr, arr, arr. You communicate perfectly. Oh, what? what? What are they saying? And make them stop saying it. This one says that he has a family and to please not stab him in the throat. You have a reputation, Ash. Look, I, I wasn't going to stab him in the Word throat. Word has spread. Has it? Word How? Has been going to. Spread. <laughs> Gregor, are you serious? Well, yes. it probably has something to do with that children's book Kira and I wrote. You know, Ashling, the <laughs> next stabber. <laughs> the moral is sometimes your parents are gonna get stabbed in the throat and you can't do anything about it because it was Ashling. Oh. It's a book about growing up. Yep. Can I read that book? Nope. No. Why? We sold every last copy. Every last one. All right, well, I'm going to be taking that money to make up for what you stole from me. Oh, well, we didn't sell it for money. Yeah, we weren't paid in money. Of course you weren't. What were you paid in? Cheese. Favors. Cheese and favors. Yep. I don't want your cheese. How about a favor? What kind of favors? Marcus puts a hand on Ash's shoulder. That's exactly why we asked to be paid in it. Wow, that's actually brilliant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about asking him why they were stealing this couch? Yeah. Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. Clearly, they wanted the couch for their master. It's for their master. He lives in here. They didn't say that Ooh. last bit, but I used deduction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Now can you ask him if we can take the couch back? Because I think this would look great in the bar. I'm thinking, you know, some sort of a hole situation. No, no holes. And it, Dog said no going near the bar today. This is someone's couch. Uh, 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 yeah, they say that probably not, and also apparently someone died on it? Really? Yeah, so maybe we don't want it after oh, all. Oh, man, I don't want a death chair. Uh, I have enough of, you know, living in death houses every each and every day of my life. Yeah, that's a little sad, Kier. So we're anyway, gonna kill these just get this not? door for you guys. What? No, we're not gonna kill them. They're Marcus just, opens look, the door for the uh, creatures bearing the couch. No, they're not. They're like imps, Gregor. Uh, on the far side of the room, Marcus can make out amidst the darkness a man sitting in a chair, hood pulled up over his head. He examines a book. He turns, spotting you. His face breaks into a wide grin. Hello! Hello! Velofi Moving Service here. We got a couch for you. I need someone to sign for this. Marcus waves a sheet of paper at him. He stands closing his book and tossing it into the pile. God, look at all those books! A wonderful visit from you today! Absolutely fantastic! You have an incredible mask and an incredible voice. <laughs> Thank you! You hear the creatures screaming from outside more. <laughs> Stop uh, screaming! I can make them stop. Ah, uh, yes, yes, my servants! I see you've met them. Oh. Lovely creatures. What a wonderful a day it is to be, uh, well, a master. I seem to have d happened upon many wonderful artifacts in this land. He begins to rummage through his bag. You wouldn't happen to want to trade those horns of yours for, uh, let's say, uh, a tuning fork? Oh, Marcus? So Marcus? Marcus? It records the last sound ever played. Oh, dear Strike God, it against that's something awesome. in you know another. What? Marcus, you back. Marcus reaches <laughs> up, snaps his horns off, and hands them uh, to the man. Uh. So I will take that, sir. 
He hands you the tuning fork. Strike it against anything and it'll record its noise. Marcus, hold A wonderful back. function. Marcus Valafi. <laughs> you strike it against your cheek. <laughs> uh, at a low vibration, Ash, Kieran, and Gregor all feel a Marcus Valafi. Oh my god, I've been waiting. <laughs> oh, oh no! My mind immediately wanders to the flute in terror. <laughs> the uh, the chair is deposited in the room by the two creatures. Wait, now hold on. I I don't know how you got here, really, or when you got here, but this is kind of is this your house? Has this been your house? It seems like you're kind of squatting in. I don't know whose house was this, Kier? Oh, he's just uh... living an average wizard squalor. Okay, well... Plus, I don't see any squatting at all, Ash. He has a chair. <laughs> okay, Kier, thank you for being very helpful in backing me up. But... Putting it very realistically, I think we're squatting. We don't have any chairs anymore. Me and Marcus broke them all. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, thank that's you what for we reminding paid me. For. Really, that's what Ash <laughs> paid Sog for. Yeah, Death chair's looking mighty nice right now. Oh, there's a cool skull on this book. <laughs> the cool skull winks at you. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor begins swinging the nunchucks around. I step away from Gregor as he swings those nunchucks. Are these for sale? It seems that you're interested in my sticks of empowerment. Gregor's eyes light up. He tries to swing the nunchucks in one hand and his glaive in the other. Whoa! <laughs> to little Steps success. Back, taking the book with him. <laughs> Oh, oh. It seems you have an interest in my, uh, my findings. And, oh, that's such a convenient time, too. He puts a hand around each, uh, an arm around each of your shoulders. You see, my friends, I've run into a little bit of a problem. Really? Uh, awfully shrill-sounding problem. <laughs> yes. Well, we happen to be problem solvers. <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. See an artifact of mine, one I was particularly fond of, uh, has been made off with, uh, to run away with. Or, oh, yes. So absolutely someone wonderful. stole some of your belongings, but let me stop. One of them specifically. The one is many, but <laughs> oh, if you could retrieve it for me, I would be willing to repay you so graciously. I have so many items, many books, many cool skulls. Uh, okay. Well, skulls? You I don't just know how give interested me a direction I am in skulls. I find it for you. This sounds like a job. <laughs> a job, Ash. A job. I, I know, I'm really excited about the job, don't get me wrong, but I just want to kind of, he seems new to the island, we're new to the island, I just want to make sure that as neighbors we play nice. And stealing other people's chairs. Oh yeah, you've got monsters. Mo monsters? What exactly are you talking oh, please, about? These things are as sweet ah, as the ah. summer sunset. <laughs> Look, like, we'll, honestly, I'm thrilled to have a job here. Like, I, that's what we want to do, but... What? I look over at the the bleeding neighing. Where's the butt, Ash? We're getting creatures. sticks of empowerment, and we get to go find someone, and we maybe get to get out of the house with the shrieking rats in it. Uh, Gregor continues to whip Kier in the face with his nunchucks. Ash, you don't look a gift rat in the mouth. That's where its scream box is. Oh no 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 yeah yeah. We're gonna take the job. Not only do we need right, the money, it's subtle, but man. we'll take the job. Also, wait. I want to include the stipulation that the rats don't ever come to our place. <laughs> The rats will come to our place at least once no, every no, month. No, 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 no. We take the job on the condition that the rats don't ever come to our place. Those things. Ash, what's a bar without patroons? Come on. Without, without what? Patroons. You mean patrons? Yeah, patroons. Okay, like fine. This the chair. rats can come to the bar if they buy something. As my reward, Mr. Mask, I would like this chair. Kier sits down. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the, the chair. Okay, I can part... With the chair, I suppose. I did just acquire this distinctly magical chair. He looks over at the death chair in the corner. <laughs> yeah, someone died in that. Goddamn. Yeah, somebody died in that. You sick freak. <laughs> Kier stares at him. <laughs> now, are you willing to part with your nifty skull book there? I have many more books with many more skulls. Yeah. Uh uh, that just, if you do part with it, this doesn't count as our payment. This is a singular thing occurring between you and 
you. Cane stick can be my payment. I'd, I'd like... It gives you the ability to defend yourself from urban violence. <laughs> See, that is... that's what I was most threatened by lately. <laughs> really? Are there other people here other than us and Thog? And I guess you now? That's Admittedly, enough. Thog's workers are a little scary. That's that's There's true. Thinking back on it, they us. are they are pretty yeah, scary. With hearts of, well, probably not gold, but lead, no. maybe. Uh, I don't know, some sort of abrasive material? Yeah, what's that rock you find on the beach that you don't really like because it's not a good rock because it's got a bunch oh, of holes in it? the one that you step on? Yeah, yeah, beach rock. That's the one, beach rock. Okay. <laughs> so, if I can clarify the situation for you folks, I... Ooh, well, the other day I just happened upon perhaps the greatest find of my career. My little uh, darlings discovered for me a particularly ancient deck of cards. You sound really excited about it. <laughs> it's absolutely like, wonderful. Really excited about a it. A deck of bound disasters. Every draw bringing a new cataclysm. Oh, that sounds incredible. Uh, it does sound <laughs> exciting. You gotta admit. I mean, yeah, it sounds really exciting. And frankly, I kind of want to see it, but... Uh, it also sounds like a thing man... that would be bad if it went missing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. well, also it sounds like a thing that would be bad if... Hmm, I look at the cackling man who's kind of yeah, quaking and smiling and grinning and generally giving off a really creeper vibe. Oh man, this guy Wait. is so cool, am I right, Kier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see where his eyes are going, and that worries me. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you want us to get back this deck of disasters, huh? <laughs> yes! Wait, where's that? What, what would you do with it? <laughs> oh, well, I'd keep it, of course. Obviously. Keep add it to my collection, Obviously. next to the chair and the globe. So you just like collecting I'm particularly things. particularly fine. Roll of fabric over here. I look at the fabric. Wow, it's I almost thought this it. was a bed when I first came in. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> I haven't seen a bed in so long. Where do you sleep, even? Wait, no, wait, wait. On the book pile. I solved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's comfy. Now, a particularly nimble-fingered man made off with this, uh, with this deck. I... <laughs> I lack the, uh, capability to pursue him where he's gone. Uh, yes. Where did he go? Do you have any- could you point us in the right direction at least? I could allow my babies to do so. Oh, they're your, like, actual babies, or- It's- Ash. It's a matter of- it's a matter of speech. It's a form of endearment, Ash. Oh, that- I'm sorry. Look, it, I I'm seeing rats. some weird stuff in here. Uh. <laughs> Seems purely really metaphorical. You're just Weird a big stuff in here. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh. If, however, I do have something that will, uh, aid you in your pursuit, he reaches into his cloak. You see, I still have my. some of my favorites from the deck in my possession. <laughs> okay. That makes our job and... easier. We only have to find a few cards. Indeed, they should all be together. These cards, you see, they they call to each other. Oh. By holding one, you can you can find the rest. Huh? Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> he takes a step back. <laughs> if you would each do me a favor, to to sanctify this contract, merely draw a card, speak its description aloud, and embrace it. <laughs> It would be easy enough to locate the rest by swearing this promise. Uh, that sounds good. The, the entire time he talks, any time he opens his mouth, my expression teeters between grimacing and revulsion. <laughs> Kira has a big stupid smile on his face. As does Marcus. <laughs> well, this only uh, makes sense. I mean, I guess it'll help us find the cards, but... Yeah, yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Well, it, Some sort of I calamity? <laughs> what's the worst? Uh, I, I, I have buzzword. Or contract is a buzzword for me now, though, so... <laughs> is it... Binding in any way? <laughs> so long as you hold the card, it will be... Uh, it will determine your fate. Well, we can drop the card and it's over with. <laughs> That cackle means yes. 
I've heard that cackle before. That's a cack. Yeah, that's clearly a cackle of affirmation, Ash. Marcus does it all the time. Great. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> he loves it. Well, so the answer is yes, absolutely. Let's get these cards. He holds out a small leather pouch. Merely reach in. The cards must be selected at random or they lose their magic. How many can I take? <sighs> For now, I believe that one is the wise decision. Okay. Can't have too much fun now. Can we have three much fun? <laughs> I, I would hope not. <laughs> it sounds dangerous. Who wants to draw first? Me, 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 me. I, uh, Gregor reaches into the satchel, fingers growing distinctly colder. Uh, he comes back with a lone card made of a thick parchment-like material. Emblazoned at the bottom of the card is the phrase the oracle. It depicts an old crone. A single burning word hangs in the air before Gregor. Begin to speak the card's description, and you will be sworn into the contract. Take it a word at a time. Savor it. The Oracle. I am wisdom, the blinded word. I promise new knowledge of the known. You hear a great crack, and suddenly out of the ether, a book connects with the back of your skull. Ow! Yo, it hits who's the floor. throwing books? <laughs> Ah, yes, the Oracle. A wonderful card. Enjoy your Tome of Infinite Knowledge. Your what? Whoa. Ooh. What? I think I got a good one. <laughs> I pick up no book. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It will appear as gibberish to all but you, mister. <laughs> what was your name again? Gregor Hartway, holder of Infinite Knowledge. Yeah. I'll make you up some business codes right away, Mr. Carpenter. Yes, yes. You will find the lives of your companions detailed within. Ooh. Uh, um, juicy. <laughs> I start flipping through the pages. Hey. I kind of stare nervously Hard at the book. Uh, Why are you looking for me first? <laughs> well, your name comes first. It's true. Start with Marcus. Go backwards. Wait. It'll be... Am I looking up Ashling or Ash? I, Never mind, found it. I it was just it starts with it. a picture of you. <laughs> dang it! Put it stop. I <laughs> I slam the book shut on Gregor's hand. My hand is bookmarking the place. Okay, hey, I, whoa, whoa, I whoa! Slide it's the not book a, off it's of not his hand. Evolve into fighting when the adventure hasn't even begun. Why don't the book you disappears card and next, reappears Ash? in my hand? Do what? Why don't you pick a card next, Ash? I know what card she's gonna get. Card. Do you? What? How? Why does he get this book? Marcus peeks over Gregor's shoulder. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> it's clearly he gobbledygook to Marcus. <laughs> Marcus taps his nose slightly. <laughs> fine, fine. Before I draw a card, though, what's your name? You can call me Rat. Rat. Okay. Like that. Well, <laughs> Rat, I'll draw a card. You reach into the satchel. Uh, you pull back with a single slip of thick, thick paper. <laughs> Turning the card over, I look at it. You see the card, The Void. Uh, a card that depicts emptiness. A uh, single burning word hangs in the air. Gregor f furrows his brow and frowns. I also <laughs> frown. <laughs> Marcus grins, excited. This isn't... Right? Ash, you messed it up. Do it again. What? How did I mess it up? Just because your book is wrong doesn't mean I messed it up. No, you And what's the deal? I thought it's supposed to be... It says it right here. You messed be... it up. What? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Gregor, you can't pull that crap. Right there. Ash messed it up. <laughs> Ash. Marcus, really. he said loud and clear to all of us that it's it's nonsense to anybody but Gregor. I don't know what you're talking It's looking pretty clear to me here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, mm -hmm. Is it now? Wait, this let me just put on my reading glasses. This isn't the right page, Marcus. I'm looking at yours now. Oh, <laughs> of course. I knew that. Obviously. Well, yeah. What's it say about Marcus? It give us, the, right juicy, here you give us the juicy details. So, you've drawn your card. Are you going to just hold on to it now? <clears throat> I am empty. The color of nothing suffuses my soul. I am dyed by those around me. I trade my talents for theirs. It's... 
flattering. <laughs> yes, the void is, uh... <laughs> well, you'll have an experience, certainly. I look around for some sort of object or... As you turn... Uh, you feel something emerge from the left side of your body. Tendrils of pure energy. What? They grapple onto the creature. No. You hear a loud, Arr! and then suddenly everything changes. You feel incredibly weak. You fall to your knees. <laughs> what? Yes, it has the tendency to change powers and prowess with the person immediately to your left frequently enough. Uh, you okay? I me a... Oh, find me a mirror. Yeah, it says right here that you're okay. <laughs> Don't worry about Ash, everyone. She's okay. <laughs> Suddenly you crave cheese. You can't this have any of worst. those. This is the worst. <laughs> give it give it a moment. You'll trade again, I'm sure. <laughs> the uh the one rat creature begins to crackle with green energy. <laughs> I leap at it. <laughs> You fall. <laughs> you feel as weak and limp as a baby rat. <laughs> you know, you'd think I'd be horrified after seeing that, but that just somehow makes me more excited, Kier Shrugs. Uh, your turn, Marcus? Oh yeah. I decided to go last, because it's climactic. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Going to. <laughs> oh. We could draw ours together, I guess. I suppose. You can go first if you really want to. No, 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 no. no. Please, after please, you. After, after you. you, please. No, please. I, you know, I suddenly have a, a cramp in my card grabbing hand. That is a damn shame. Marcus reaches yeah. into the card sack. <laughs> you, uh, you produce a single card. Just as I expected. Turn it over. Uh, the father. A depiction of authority and kindness. A single word hangs in the air. The words will reveal themselves to you as you speak. I am the muse, the river that guides poets to the page. Bards to the harp. I am rhyme, rhythm, humor? <laughs> There's a crackle. Nothing feels different. Hmm. Yes, yes. You, you have been gifted with a particularly tragic card. Really? Uh, suddenly there's a crackle. Your nose grows to twice its size. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you see, the father is a, uh, a debilitating illness, let's just say. It requires you to speak only in rhyme and to shout only in puns. Oh, if you... rats! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just... St nothing happens to Marcus. He's completely fine. <laughs> Nods. Yes, yes, it appears you grasp it quite quickly. You will be left to the... So I'm compelled to speak in rhymes? Compelled to do it all the times? Everyone stares at Marcus. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, yes. Oh, if you cannot well. fulfill that uh, basic requirement, you will be subject to the whim of the universe. The, the what? The universe? <laughs> all right, I can do that. Yes. It says it all right here, Ash. It's the place where we I are. look at Marcus. <laughs> Marcus is suddenly electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, it seems like those two drew all the bad cards. So, uh, uh Kier reaches into the satchel and pulls out a card. Uh, he holds it up and shows it to the rest of the crew. I got the maiden. I think that means I'm hotter than you guys. Okay, let's take a look at this. He reads the first burning ward. I am gifted with fantastic hair. Wow, that is absolutely true. Something explodes off the back of Kier's scalp. <laughs> I uh, marvel at the magnificent plot. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. What? It stretches down to the uh, floor. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is. What's up, guys? That is. What changed? That is the worst card that Kier could have gotten, actually. Considering all the flammables that he exposes himself to on I a daily basis. I don't understand what you're saying, Ash. He f dramatically flicks his hair out of his eyes. Sparkles are produced. It's beautiful. <laughs> all that I can say is, wow, your hair is truly awesome now. I don't think it's part of the curse, but it's more fun to speak in verse. <laughs> Kier just claps a little bit. <laughs> How permanent are these afflictions, rat? <laughs> <laughs> until you, uh, until you return these cards to the larger deck, or the, the smaller deck I have here, I believe they will stay. Okay, so not permanent. <laughs> not that bad, Ash. Would you like a bit of cheese? 
Would you beg for it on your knees? Marcus holds out a lump of cheese to Ash and waves it in front of her face. My eye twitches. Uh-huh. <laughs> I grip my Kier teeth. Kier moves around you, flicking the hair out of his eyes once again, only if you say, please, hey, this is pretty fun, Marcus. Marcus, <laughs> I'm going to stab you in the throat and then hang you up like a goat. What? Please, Ash, that's not your affliction. Only I have to rhyme my diction? <laughs> Rat shrugs. Looks like the universe gave that one to you. <laughs> Please, that is clearly a rhyme. <laughs> a third eye forms on your forehead and then immediately detonates. 